Hey, what's up? It's Sideshow Sky at Two Brothers Radio here in uh, the glorious Atlanta, Georgia. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a uh, tutorial schooling on how to get Two Brothers Radio on your iPod or iPhone, which inevitably, if you get it on the iPhone, you can basically, uh, you know, listen to Two Bros Radio on your car stereo or any stereo that has an auxiliary port. So, I mean, even if you wanted to run Two Bros Radio at work over a PA system that allows you to play music in the background, you could do that. All you have to do is have an uh, iPod or an iPhone, as, and as long as it has a continual link to the internet, you can do that. But anyway, the software that we're going to be using today, uh, first off, any of you who are Live365 VIP listeners, you can go ahead and go to Live365, uh, and I believe their application, uh, Live365 Player, is actually a free app, but the downside is, is being a VIP member, you have to pay a reoccurring fee every month, so, you know, for those of you who are already a member and, you know, you don't mind paying that fee, you know, kudos, just go get the app, download it. Uh, the cool part about that app is it allows you to see everything that goes on. But anyway, what we're talking about here is OO Tunes. Okay, OO Tunes has a little, it looks like a little uh, sideways 8 or an infinity marker. And OO Tunes you can get in your app store for about $4.99. One time payment, and you can pick up just about any internet signal that you can get on the internet via, as long as it's streaming, you can find it. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the home screen. This is the home screen right here uh, through OO Tunes. As you see, you can search all streams up at the top and, uh, you know, favorites, recent played, most played, custom tags. But what we want is websites because Live365 can't be picked up just through uh, any URL address. You actually have to go to uh, visit it through Live365 through the websites provided by uh, OO Tunes. Now, OO Tunes, just scroll down a little bit and there's Live365. Okay. Just going to click over Live365. Now you can't just go to live365.com on your iPod and you know, poof, it's magic. It, it works. It doesn't work like that. You actually have to stream it through a software because if you try and run it through live365.com, you'll get a flash player problem and this and that, and tell you you can't do it. But yeah, do it through OO Tunes, and you're made in the shade. Anyway, it says find stations that play on the main page of live365 that opens up through OO Tunes, and uh, you know, right in that little box right there right next to find stations at play I'm just gonna open it up real quick click there and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna punch in two brothers radio whoops forget the eye there we go radio alright and I'm going to hit search at the bottom instead of, you know, hitting done and hitting search on that green button. It's faster that way. Just hit search at the bottom of that uh, where you were just typing on the keyboard. Anyway, it's going to open up a, uh, basically a server list page that tells you all the different stations that can be that are pulled up underneath, you know, that specific keyword search that you've typed in into the find thing. Anyway, Two Brothers Radio will be the first station at the top listed on Live365 and uh, as you scroll in um, God, my fingers don't want to work with me right now but uh, anyway as you scroll in and you look up at the top you'll see the Two Brothers radio logo the wording that little yellow play button don't press that because it won't actually fire off the stream no instead we have to hit the Two Brothers radio and visit the actual uh, the site page for Live365. So you don't want to click on Two Bros Radio, and uh, like I say, if you try hitting that yellow that yellow play button, it will not fire off the stream. So go to the site page. It's going to open up the site page, and that same that same yellow play symbol will be on the site page, uh, just up above the logo. See it right there. That's what we're going to hit in order to be able to fire the stream off on OO Tunes. Okay, just gonna scroll up over here, and like I say, there's the play button that we need to make sure that we press for it to work. Now, once you hit it, it'll take a sec, and it'll start loading, and it'll pop up on the uh, the now playing list 
on your Ootune software on your application on your iPod or iPhone. And uh, up at the top, very typical menu. You have your plays, your skips through your different stations, your stop button, your home button, so on and so forth. Uh, but our, my biggest concern is right beneath the tower here. Right down here, I'm going to teach you how to save this so you don't have to go through going to the site every time. I want you to be able to open up OO Tunes and basically go right to Two Bros Radio and or create a little app that you can work with. But this heart right here, if you click on it, okay, it'll open up a what do you want to do menu. And of course, you're going to click on uh, bookmark it. Okay. And it's going to save it right to the bookmark. Okay. Don't mind the mouse, it's not my fingers. But it's going to save it to the bookmark. Now I'm going to go back to the home page and down at the bookmarks. Okay. I'm going to hit it and the top three here. Um, oh, wait. God damn. Sorry. I got fat fingers. But anyway. I'm going to go back. Uh, shit. Okay. We're going to go back to. Uh, there we go. Bookmarks. And we're going to click streams up in the top right. All right. So we got two bros radio, number one, blah, blah, blah. blah. We're going to click on it and it's going to fire it back up. So now we have it saved in our bookmarks where if we just fire up all the tunes. Uh, and we go to bookmarks and we click on streams and we click on two bros radio it'll fire up like nothing but I want to show you a way that's actually really helpful uh, it's a little lighthouse it looks like it's got a uh, music note and a check next to it we're gonna click on that it's gonna open up a uh, thing and we're gonna hit yes we're gonna go in and basically what this is gonna do is this gives us a an internet uh, streaming signal that we just uh, we go and we can listen to in the background so that we can do other stuff on our iPod. But I'm going to add it real quick to my home screen. Okay. I'm going to delete this out and make my icon 2 Bros Radio. So basically, this is like making my own little app for those of you who don't know how to do it already. Uh, I'm going to go 2 Bros Radio. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to go hit add and that's going to go ahead and add it see right there to the uh, my springboard now whenever I click on that it's gonna take me straight to that page that I was just at that has tap here to listen in Safari okay uh, if I tap here to listen in Safari it'll open up in my QuickTime player that's the standard uh, player software media playing software for your iPod that uh, comes standard factory uh, installed there and there you go it's already streaming and it's working out everything's beautiful all I have to do is just hit my home menu button at the bottom of the screen a little pad where your thumb is always at basically some people call it the front button and I can go back here and I can hear it in the background so you know I know that it's working and I know that I can always access it just through a two button press this way uh, rather than going to OO tunes and doing that but either way it works because it's still gonna go through you know a streaming process that's you know provided by OO tunes so you need OO tunes to basically get this thing cracking and to get it off the hook but uh, you know that's basically what I wanted to do I wanted to show you that this is how you can get two bros radio without paying a reoccurring monthly fee <laughs>